Welcome men, soccer down here, high school boys game of the week from Mill Creek High School as the Hawks host the Black Knights of Central Gwinnett. My name's Jason Longshore. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight on the SDH app on SoccerDownHere.net or on the Mill Creek Sports Network. Thanks to our hosts here at Mill Creek on a rainy night in the metro Atlanta area. In the girls' match, Mill Creek won 10-0. Match was stopped early in the second half. On the boys' side, very evenly matched teams here. The Hawks are three and two on the year. Central Gwinnett two, three, and one. Mill Creek perfect three and zero record here at home. Central Gwinnett on the road one, two, and one. Little bit of a depleted team for Central Gwinnett. It's not a deep bench tonight. A number of players unavailable for this one. The Hawks at full strength. It's been a goal scoring by committee for the Hawks this season. Max Mitchell leading the way with four goals. Connor Blake has three. Jesse Lee has three. Oliver Gomez also has three. Central Gwinnett in the white tops, black shorts, white socks. They'll be moving from right to left on your radio dial or your screen on YouTube. Mill Creek will be moving from left to right in the Garnet Navy. Central Gwinnett will kick off. And let's kick it for 40 minutes from Mill Creek High School. SDH, boys, high school, game of the week. It's the Black Knights in possession in their own half, trying to work it into the middle third. Pass over hit, given up, but recovered by Angel Flores. Flores springs it over to the left side. Black Knights, heavy touch, cleared away by the Hawks. Throw at midfield for Central Gwinnett. Throwing on the near side, the left side for the Black Knights. Thrown in down the line, flicked on. Doesn't come off the defender. Last touch off Andres Arias. Throw Mill Creek. Thrown in down the line. Step in front by the Black Knights. Cleared back into the attacking half for Mill Creek. Looking for Mitchell. Doesn't get there, but the second ball's recovered. Now Mitchell on it down the right side. Mitchell in the corner, cutting back to his left. Left-footed cross, driven across the face of the 18-yard box, headed away by the Black Knights. Hawks back in possession in the middle third. Long ball over the top, intended for Mitchell. Comes off a defender's head, opportunity in the corner. Central Gwinnett prevents the corner. That's great work defensively, but it's going to be a throw. About 10 yards off the end line. Hawks with a chance here. They're going to look possibly for a long throw. Thrown into the 18, over the head of Mitchell. Goalkeeper out for it, claims it. Andrew Sarmiento, the freshman goalkeeper, getting the start tonight. Lowen Haynes with that throw into the 18 for Mill Creek. Clearing ball, blocked. Opportunity for Mitchell down the right for Mill Creek. Cuts back to his left. Mitchell draws defenders, drops it back to Haynes. Haynes into the 18, trying to turn. Hawks pull the shot wide. Defender knocks it down, pops straight up. Mitchell on it in the 18. Volleys it across, headed back in Mitchell's direction. Defender gets there first, still Mill Creek possession. Haynes goes down. It already lost possession, so it's going to be a throw for Central Gwinnett in their defensive third. A little shaky defensively early on for Central Gwinnett. It's a team that typically plays out of a 4-2-2-2, wants to play with high energy and press, but with the absences tonight, a little bit more of a 3-5-1-1 from the Black Knights. Mill Creek throw, Haynes looking for Mitchell. It's headed away, going to be another throw, but this one's deep in the corner. 
Haynes can get that about 40 yards. This one not quite that far. Gets by Mitchell. Goalkeeper's late to come to it. Player down. Penalty given. Mill Creek will have an opportunity to take the lead from the spot. Really tricky conditions tonight. Tricky situation for the freshman goalkeeper as well, Sarmiento. He was a little late to it. Defender catches a trip, and Mill Creek can take the lead. 36-44 on the clock. Hawks at the spot. Sarmiento and goal. Couple steps to the right, approaching, goal, 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 goal. Mill Creek. Goal scored by number 10, Oliver Gomez. Oliver Gomez, all region in 2022. Fourth goal of the season for the senior. And Gomez from the spot gives Mill Creek the early 1-0 lead. All started from a throw. Penalty drawn, and Mill Creek takes the lead. A little over three minutes in. Central Gwinnett in possession off the kickoff, trying to get out of their own half. Can't do it. Mill Creek regains possession at midfield. Down the right side, looking for McCready. He's not going to get there initially. That shepherded out for a goal kick. Central Gwinnett hits the diagonal over to the right side this time, but Mill Creek's there first. Mitchell, top of the 18, corner of the 18, drifting to his left. Mitchell wants to cut back. He's into the 18. Mitchell shot block. Corner upcoming for Mill Creek. Corner kick for Mill Creek. Max Mitchell tied for the lead in goals now for the Hawks. Explosive pace. But his shot from about 10 yards or so out blocked. In swinging corner from the far side for the Mill Creek Hawks. Leading 1-0 early. Driven in, top of the six, headed away. Follow-up opportunity volleyed over the bar. Haynes ran that one down but couldn't get his left boot around it and over it at the same time. So goal kick central Gwinnett. Played out short by the Black Knights as they try to combine their way out of trouble. They draw a foul. Late challenge. A little bit of an awkward landing there. Up walking that off. Just a late challenge from Matthias Schwartz. Free kick played across to the right by Luis Castro. Central Gwinnett at midfield, working it from right to left. Pass picked off. Hawks with an opportunity to break. 4v3 if they can find it. Mitchell runs through. Sarmiento lets this go. It's out in the corner. Mitchell's able to get there first. Mitchell pulling it back to his left foot. Dribble, blocked, throw, Mill Creek. Two defenders came out to try to close on Mitchell. He went for the split. Haynes with the throw. Flicked on near post, popped up. Sarmiento will catch. Punts out to the right. Has an option there, but it's over his head on the bounce. Mill Creek throw, quickly taken. Into the 18. Flicked on into the 18. Sarmiento's there first. He gets there. Doesn't catch it cleanly. Central Gwinnett trying to scramble this one up the right side. They do, but it's in the middle third back to Mill Creek. Turnover opportunity here for Central Gwinnett. Even down numbers as they work it from right to left. Cut back by Mario Sanchez. It's in the center circle. Black Knights find possession once again on the right side. Diagonal over the intended target. Mill Creek will gather possession back in. 
Pass intercepted by Navarro. Picked off by Haynes. Here comes Mill Creek down the right side, looking for Mitchell, well defended that time. Forrest Basic with the long ball. And it's Central Gwinnett trying to find their way out. Knocked back into their own half. Black Knights trying to find the escape route. Luis Castro hits the diagonal. That's regained by Mill Creek. Back to Castro once again. Blasts it through the middle. Basic heads it forward. Mill Creek back in possession. 40 yards from goal. Drifting to the right. Looking for Mitchell in the 18. He's in possession. Turns and faces goal. Mitchell pulls it back to his left foot. Drops it to Haynes. Haynes, right-footed cross. Curling into the back post. Into the arms of Sarmiento. Just over 32 minutes left in the first half. Mill Creek leading 1-0 on a goal from the spot by Gomez. Central Gwinnett in the middle third. They just can't find the way through as Michael Sarmiento loses possession. Black Knights back on it. That time looking for Kinji Haramio. Gets away from him. Mill Creek on the far side. Driven forward, flicked on. Central Gwinnett regaining possession. Black Knights trying to dribble their way out this time. That doesn't work. They try to hit the long diagonal. That doesn't work either, but they get a throw out of it. It kind of works. Navarro will take the throw near midfield. I think he's going to leave it as the defender steps up to help him out. Anthony Santebanes will take that throw. Central Gwinnett settling in a little bit more now after the early goal conceded. Mill Creek, though, so good at regaining possession. They earn a free kick in the center circle. Free kick for Mill Creek. Rain is continuing to fall. It's just a steady, more than a mist. It's not raining heavily, but it's raining enough to affect this one. Free kick five yards inside the attacking half. This is going to be played all the way into the 18 by the Hawks. Looking for Mitchell. Skims off his head. It's going to be out for a goal kick. Mitchell wanted to play that back across, but couldn't get enough of it. On for Mill Creek, number six, Josh Mendoza. Josh Mendoza checking in for Mill Creek. First sub of the night for either team. Right at 10 minutes played. Luis Castro will take the goal kick. Drives this through the middle. Flicked on. Black Knights just can't find the handle, though. They do pressure a clearance, so they'll get a throw on, the, on their left. Just inside the attacking half. Thrown in over the midfield stripe. Looking for Santi Banez. Gets away from him. It's in the center circle. Central Gwinnett in possession. Moving it up the left side. Santi Banez. Anthony Santi Banez driving forward. Looks for the 1-2. Finds it. Tripped up. Free kick. Central Gwinnett. 30 yards from goal. Nice work by the senior, Anthony Santibanez. A set-piece opportunity here for Central Gwinnett. Santibanez standing over it. Looking at this with the right foot, so it's going to curl in on the goalkeeper, Connor Diaz. Two-man wall. Could go to goal here. Could play to the back post. He goes to goal near post. Caught the goalkeeper, Diaz, leaning. He thought it was going to be a cross. It's wide of the near post for Santi Banez, but he almost caught Connor Diaz by surprise. Crafty from the senior, Anthony Santi Banez. It's a goal kick for Mill Creek. Connor Diaz to take. 
the junior, has one clean sheet on the season. Flicked forward. Back in possession, Central Gwinnett played over the top. Black Knights almost get in, but they commit a foul to do so. Jaramillo got the feet tangled up with the defender, Basic. It's not the best conditions this evening. It's been raining about like this since, I don't know, maybe 5.30 this evening. Free kick driven into the attacking third for Mill Creek. Flick forward. Mitchell gets there, but the flag is up. Offside on Mill Creek. Free kick for Central Gwinnett. The pace of Max Mitchell causing Central Gwinnett some problems. But the offside flag causing Mitchell some problems. Free kick squared out to the right by the Black Knights. Pass over, hit, throw for Mill Creek in the middle third on the left side. 27 minutes left in the first half. 1-0 Hawks. Goal from Gomez from the penalty spot. Mill Creek will take another throw on the far side, moving up about 15 yards. This one right in front of the central Gwinnett bench. It is a depleted bench this evening. A number of players ineligible for this evening's match. Cross in, back post. Sarmiento waved at it. Don't know if he got a touch. Mill Creek keeps it in the corner. They want to look back to Haynes for a cross. He can't get the cross in. Throw, Central Gwinnett. Andrew Sarmiento, freshman goalkeeper. Believe he got a touch on that cross. Now it's a goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Thumping you hear is rain dropping on my field microphone. Feels like the wind is shifting a little bit, blowing the rain inside the press box here at Mill Creek. Trying to keep everything dry. Mill Creek back in possession in the attacking third. Battle for it. It falls to Mitchell. Mitchell weaves his way through the defense. Long cross blocked. Throw Mill Creek. Haynes will take the throw, but there's a substitution first. Mill Creek going to the bench. Throwing from Lowen Haynes down the line. It's going to be shepherded out for a goal kick. Thanks, as always, to our presenting sponsor of the SDH Game of the Week, Kaiser Permanente. Central Gwinnett, the goal kicks knocked back into their defensive third. Mitchell blocks a clearance. Shot is wide off of a touch from the defender. Corner, Mill Creek, out of nothing. Max Mitchell nearly made it 2-0. a corner from the far side. In swinging delivery to the near post, cleared away. Still in the attacking third for Mill Creek if they can find a handle. Trying to cut to their right. They can't. Too many white shirts to get through. Black Knights back in possession. Long diagonal to the right side at midfield. Headed back inside. Possession kept by the Black Knights. Combination, though, not on. So it's a throw for Mill Creek. 23 minutes and some change. 1-0 Mill Creek. First half action. Mill Creek looking for their fourth win of the season. Fourth win at home as well. And they have a throw, 30 yards from goal. Throw it in down the line on the left flank. Cross blocked. Came back off the winger for Mill Creek on the far side. So it's going to be a goal kick.
Goal kick swung across to the left. A little bit too much on that. Gets away. Throw Mill Creek. Haynes will take it. He's got Basic behind him if he wants to drop it and keep possession. He elects to play it down the line for Mitchell. Skims off his head. Comes off the Black Knights defender. Thought he had shielded that one out. But last touch came off of him. Corner Mill Creek from the near side. 22 and a half minutes. Game's gotten a little disjointed here in the last few. Probably chalk a good bit of that up to the conditions. In swinging corner from the near side. Played in Sarmiento has to dive across. He keeps it out. The Olympico attempt nearly finds the back of the net for Mill Creek. Follow-up shot blocked inside the 18. It's still in the 18. Now it's still in the final third. Haynes chips it to the back post over Mitchell's head. Cleared. Blocked. Central Gwinnett trying to find a way out down the right. They do. Frantic defending for the Black Knights, and they find a way out of it. Mill Creek up the left side. Black Knights come away with it. Opportunity here in the attacking half now for Central Gwinnett. Switched over to the left. It's deflected back. Run down, still in possession. Black Knights now looking to the right side. Man open on the far side. Corner of the 18. Hits the half volley across to the penalty spot. Basic heads it out for Mill Creek. It's Central Gwinnett in the ascendancy right now. Pass to the right. That's too much opportunity for Mill Creek to flip the field through Mitchell. Mitchell with a brilliant turn. Mitchell to the left. Opportunity here for the Hawks. Sarmiento off his line. Slides out. Makes the play. Flag goes up. Free kick for Central Gwinnett. It's going to be a free kick central Gwinnett offside. Mitchell, I think, was trying to dribble to his left. The offside player ended up taking possession, and that's what triggered the flag. Mill Creek back in possession off of the free kick. Now they're on the left side. Sliding challenge, knocked out for a throw. The disjointedness has led to a little bit of hecticness. Midway through the first half. 1-0 Mill Creek. Throw in on the far side through the raindrops. Battle for it. Popped into the air by the Black Knights. And they are in a throw just inside their attacking half. We'll get some score updates from around the state at halftime. Central Gwinnett will get another throw. Now on the other side of the 50-yard line or the midfield stripe if you prefer. Throwing it up the line. They'll take it again. Moving up section by section. Now they're 40 yards from goal. Black Knights down the right side. Defended well. Basic's going to let that one ride, so it's a goal kick. Connor Diaz will take the goal kick for the Hawks. 1-0 lead, Mill Creek. Oliver Gomez, fourth goal of the season for the senior from the penalty spot early, and that's been it so far. Sarmiento's been busier than Diaz in goal, but not by that much. Most of this has been in the middle third or in Mill Creek's attacking half. It's Central Gwinnett now in the attacking half. Looking to switch it to the left. They do. It gets through. Pop to the top of the 18. It's the Black Knights trying to dribble their way into the end team. Player down. Wanted the penalty. Doesn't get it. Believe it was a clean tackle. Throw central Gwinnett at midfield. Thrown in quickly. Black Knights trying to take advantage. They get another throw. Ten yards inside the attacking half now on the left. It was a great run from Jonathan Navarro. He was the one who went down on the dribble in the 18. 
believe Haynes got the ball on his challenge. Popped across, cleared by Mill Creek. Sliding defensive play from Central Gwinnett does not work. It's still Mill Creek in possession now on the far side. The left side for the Hawks. Cut back, two defenders there. Central Gwinnett comes away with it. Fasek pops it forward, looking for Mitchell. Defenders there. It's popped back down the line for Mitchell. Mitchell on the left side for Mill Creek. Wants to curl back to his right. Now he takes it back to his left. Nutmeg into the 18. Cross. Sarmiento gets there. Brilliant from Max Mitchell. But the cross was picked out by Sarmiento. The freshman goalkeeper with a big play. And now it's Central Gwinnett in possession. Sebastian Trainer, who was the intended target for that cross, substitute for Mill Creek, who's into the match. Central Gwinnett now. Sliding challenge. That's going to knock that out. Throw for the Black Knights. 20 yards from goal. Kinji Haramio causing the Hawks a few problems. Just under 17 minutes left in the first half. 1 0 Hawks. Central Gwinnett threatening. Throw in, corner of the 18. Shot blocked. Central Gwinnett still on it. Swung over to the right side, a little too heavy. Throw in, for Mill, Creek. Throw in Mill Creek. Santibanez's shot was blocked at the top of the 18. He made good contact with it, but Basic in the way of it. Long ball down the left, curls out, looking for Mitchell. Throw in, for Central Throw in for the Black Knights. Rain has diminished a little bit. It's still coming down. Black Knights dribble their way out of trouble. Nice work from Mario Sanchez. Free kick, Central Gwinnett. Free kick for the Black Knights. 1-0 Mill Creek, 15 minutes in, some change left in the first half. Hawks regain possession, long ball for Mitchell. Mitchell into the 18, Mitchell shot, goal, 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 Mill Creek. Mill Creek Hawks, goal scored by number seven, Max Mitchell. Max Mitchell's pace cannot be denied. Just a simple ball over the top. Mitchell runs it down and gets the angle that he wants with his right foot. Nothing Sarmiento could do to keep that one out. And Max Mitchell, fifth goal of the season, second of the night, and Mill Creek leads 2-0. When you have an attacking weapon like Max Mitchell, it always gives you an out. Central Gwinnett had been playing well, creating some opportunity, starting to string passes together in the attacking half. Just a simple ball over the top, and Mitchell finds the space and finds the back of the net. Throw in for Central Gwinnett. Throw for Central Gwinnett on the far side. 2-0 Mill Creek. Mitchell and Gomez with the goals. Free kick for the Black Knights, 25 yards from goal, 35 yards from goal. Got to remember to add 10 when you look out at the football yard lines. 34 yards from goal to be exact. This is out on the right side. Five targets inside the 18. Left-footed delivery gets through. Goal. Central Gwinnett, and it's 2-1. Don't think that was the intended target. I think that was played to the top of the six, and it curls all the way through. Goal scored by number nine, Central Gwinnett. 
Kenji Hataramio with the goal. Believe that was a cross slash shot. It's really tough for Connor Diaz, the goalkeeper, because there's an attacker running on, and you have to expect that they're going to get a touch. You have to try to hold your line, but then it skips through, picks up a little speed off the turf, and Jaramillo cuts the lead back to one goal. It's 2-1. Throwing into the 18. Mitchell heads it across. Central Gwinnett able to get this out of their defensive third. Pressure from Mill Creek trying to force the turnover. They do, but they commit a foul in doing it. Free kick, Central free kick, Gwinnett. Black Knights trying to play their way out of this. Sanchez. It's knocked forward to Santibanez. Sanchez, it was knocked away from him, but it deflected up the left side to Santibanez. Last touch comes off of him at midfield, so a throw for Mill Creek. Haynes up the line. That one curls back out. Had a little extra spin on it. Throw-in was not touched, but it goes out for a throw for Central Gwinnett. Came in and went back out. Black Knights will get another throw. They'll get another one. Closer to midfield now for the Black Knights. Twelve and a half minutes left in the first half. Mill Creek two. Central Gwinnett one. A very entertaining boys game of the week. Presented by Kaiser Permanente. Battle at midfield. Wrestling match. Possibly won by Central Gwinnett, but the referee gives it to Mill Creek. Won by illegal means. Basic will take the free kick right at midfield. Drives this into the 18. Sarmiento starts to come for it. gets through. Goal, goal, goal. Mill Creek. Basic from midfield. Scored by number 18. Just like Central Gwinnett's goal, that was not intended. Horace Basic takes that from midfield right on the midfield stripe. It takes one hop. Sarmiento came for it, couldn't get through traffic to get to it, and it hops over him over everybody and into the back of the net. 3-1 Mill Creek, and they're looking for four now. Dribbling run from Gomez. Cross in, looking for Mitchell, headed away. Regained, top of the 18. Hawks knocked away from the attacker. Central Gwinnett able to clear. Game's wide open now. That one's played out for a throw for Central Gwinnett in the middle third. Black Knights creeping up the far side touch line to throw this in. It's up the line. Multiple deflections. Throw central Gwinnett, 35 yards from goal, right by the Mill Creek bench. It's thrown in quickly. Jaramillo, loose touch. Header in front of Mitchell, back into the attacking half. Jaramillo runs it down. Black Knights in possession. Knocked out to the far side, but Mill Creek regains it. Mitchell, what a touch around the defender. Into the 18. Mitchell goes down. Referee does not give the penalty. Defender playing the ball there, both playing the ball. I think that's a good no call. Sarmiento punts. 
won by Mill Creek, knocked away from Mitchell's William Perkle, who won that at midfield for Mill Creek. Hawks will have a throw at midfield with 10 minutes on the clock. First half action. Jacob Sastwin back into the match for the Hawks. Throw in on the near side. Lowen Haynes. Up the line. Flicked on. Mitchell trying to get around the defender with the flick. He blocks the clearance, though. It's still there for Mill Creek. Black Knights fouled. Free kick Central Gwinnett. Free kick for Central Gwinnett. Action in this one kind of alternates between a little slow paced and then a little frantic. We're in the frantic portion of that now. It's played up the right side. Black Knights chasing. Defended well. Just guarded out. So it's going to be a throw for Mill Creek in their own half. The rain continues to fall. Mill Creek in possession over the top. Mitchell can't get to this one. Central Gwinnett playing their way through the middle third. Pass intercepted. Mitchell is found on the far side. Mitchell cuts inside a two. He cuts back outside. Max Mitchell down the left. Cross blocked. Corner Mill Creek. Mitchell has a great combination of pace and technique. Great body control. He's able to weave through traffic with the touch or just on the run. Such an intelligent player at finding space, Max Mitchell. There's space to be found. He'll find it. If you have to manufacture it, he can do that too. Corner on the far side for Mill Creek. Eight minutes on the clock in the first half. In swinger. Played low to the near post. Back heel. Intercepted and cleared. But not out. Pop back in. Top of the 18. Flick forward. Cleared by Central Gwinnett. Castro was able to get that one out. Throw it midfield for Mill Creek. It's up the line, takes a deflection. It finds Mitchell on the far side, knocked away from him. Throw for Mill Creek, 20 yards from goal. Trying to get numbers forward here, the Hawks. Thrown into the 18-yard box. It's headed away by Castro. And it's Central Gwinnett trying to find their way out of trouble. Big switch, nobody home, though. So it'll be a throw on the near side now, the right side of the pitch for Mill Creek. Haynes to take. Haynes throws it in short. Driven down the line. It's back to Haynes, but it had already crossed over the touch line. Schwartz tried to keep that in for Mill Creek. It's Central Gwinnett in possession now. Knocked away from Sanchez, but over the end line. Goal kick for Central Gwinnett. And it's driven into the center circle. One back by Mill Creek. Player down. Haynes draws Free the foul. Free. Free kick for the Hawks. Just inside the defensive half. Three subs coming for Central Gwinnett. They don't have many more than that on the bench tonight. Five and a half minutes. Basic drives this one forward. Drifts over to the left. Central Gwinnett able to find a handle. 
Black Knights want to get out of their own half. Pressure, high, foul, free kick. Just could not turn that corner. It's a smart kick, foul to prevent the transition. It's a free kick for Central Gwinnett. This one's driven across the pitch, but intercepted by the Hawks. That touch gets out to the outside, though. Good defending from Navarro to regain possession. Central Gwinnett now moving from left to right in their own half, and they lose possession. Opportunity on the far side. Hawks keep it. Dribbling past one. Squared to the right. Cleared. Mill Creek, though, in the middle third. Regain possession. Popped across to the right. Schwartz. Dribbling to his right. Drops it back to Haynes. Haynes, early cross to the penalty spot. Mitchell can't find it. It's headed back to the top of the 18. Central Gwinnett has to clear. 3-1 Mill Creek. Looking for number four. They're back into the attacking half once again with four minutes on the clock. Mitchell coming back, possibly from an offside position. Commits a foul, but the foul was called before that. The initial ball played forward. Player was fouled, so it's a Mill Creek free kick 40 yards from goal. Foul was brought down back I think Mitchell would have been offside and he possibly committed a foul trying to get back to it but foul is brought back free kick 40 yards from goal it's Max Mitchell over it lining this up like he wants to go to goal two man wall was going to be three 40 yards out in the middle shaded just a little to the right Mitchell drives this. It takes a hop and gets through Sarmiento. Goal, goal, goal. Mill Creek, number four. Goal scored by number seven, Max Mitchell. Max Mitchell, goal number two. Six on the year now for Mitchell. And with the conditions, with a wet surface, that 40-yard shot that you hit about 35 yards becomes very dangerous. Difficult for a goalkeeper to deal with because Mitchell could have chipped that to the back post as well. Sarmiento's a little frozen in general, and then it skips, picks up speed off the turf. It doesn't really bounce true. It skips Gets through Sarmiento, and it's goal number four. Maybe five is about to happen. Sarmiento blocks a cross. Mill Creek had won the ball back off the kickoff. And Central Gwinnett looking for the halftime whistle, trying to get out of here three goals down. It's the Black Knights back in possession on the right side. 2.45 left on the clock. They play long. Basic heads it back to Connor Diaz inside his own 18. Diaz squares it over to the right side. Haynes drives it forward off the chest of a central Gwinnett player. Throw for Mill Creek on the right side. Mitchell has gotten the rest of the half off. Two goals in the first 40. Haynes pops it inside. Ball gets away from Mill Creek, but they regain possession. So good in the counter pressure, the Hawks. Up the left side, pass over hit. So it's going to be a goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Next week, Tuesday, SDH Game of the Week will take us to Sequoia. 6A action between Sequoia and Lassiter. Lassiter, the defending state champion in that classification on the boys and the girls side. Sequoia's boys are ranked in the top ten. Should be a great match Tuesday night. Girls kick off at 5.30. Boys will kick off at 7.30. Throw in for Mill Creek, edge of the attacking third. Haynes will take it. He can get this into the 18-yard box. He does. 
Defender knocks it back out. Haynes will take it once again. 71 seconds left on the clock. Haynes throws it in to the near post. It's headed away. Pop back out wide to Haynes. Haynes crosses this time with his right foot. Back post. Nearly connected. Sliced out, though. It's Mill Creek on the far side in possession. Less than a minute left. Goal kick. Goal kick for Central Gwinnett. 40 seconds. See if Central Gwinnett rushes this one back into play. They do. They'd love to get one more if they can, but they can't afford to give up another one. Turned over. Opportunity here for Mill Creek. Into the 18. Cross takes a deflection into the hands of Sarmiento. He's going to take his time on this one to bring it back into play. Punts it into the middle third. Picked off. Hawks, maybe one more opportunity. Long range shot pulled wide. Goal kick. Goal if kick they take the it, game. they will not. Half time here at Mill Creek High School. It's the Hawks leading 4 1 over time. Central Gwinnett. Two goals for Max Hawks Mitchell. Score. One for Oliver Gomez and one from midfield by Boris Basic. And the Hawks will take a three-goal lead into the halftime break. We're going to take that break with them. We'll be back with some scores from around the state and more. Stay with us on the SDH Game of the Week and on Mill Creek Sports Network. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the GHSA, are the 195,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Georgia. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. Why are interscholastic sports called the last classroom of the day? Because they teach students important life lessons like teamwork, accountability, and perseverance. School sports are so much more than a game. They're about developing the whole person. That's why they're an essential part of every student's education. Encourage your student to participate in the last classroom of the day. Interscholastic sports in Georgia. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association.
Have you noticed bad behavior has become normalized at interscholastic athletic events? Some fans seem angry. They lack civility toward one another. Some even get aggressive and unruly. Time out! What is going on? This has to stop. Let's not forget, school sports aren't just about winning. And they're definitely not an excuse to take your frustrations out on the official or the opponent. They're about teaching lessons like perseverance, respect, and empathy so students can learn and grow as people, not just as players. We all have a role to play in setting a good example for our students and teaching them these important values. So fans, it's time to step up your game and behave positively at Interscholastic Athletic Events in Georgia. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association. All right, folks, let's get started. Parents, thanks for coming. As many of you know, I'm Coach Mather. Tonight I want to talk about the season, of which I only have one expectation, that everybody gets stronger. When I say get stronger, I'm not referring solely to physical strength. Sure, we'll be in the weight room, we'll be running stairs, but we're also going to focus on developing mental toughness and grit because those are the characteristics that allow us to achieve greatness both on and off the court. So how do we develop those things? By getting comfortable with a challenge, by cultivating the confidence necessary to overcome adversity in all forms. That's why I coach. That's my purpose. Every member of this team can lean on me, and I'll teach them how they can lean on themselves and each other. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association. Back to Mill Creek High School, site of the SDH Boys High School Game of the Week, presented by Kaiser Permanente. Thanks so much to Kaiser Permanente for your support of soccer all over the state of Georgia and helping us cover it alongside you. My name's Jason Longshore. We're also live on the Mill Creek Sports Network tonight. Thanks, everybody here at Mill Creek for hosting the SDH Game of the Week one score that Mill Creek fans will be very interested in, Buford on the girls' side, they win. They will be ranked number one, you would expect, in 7A at the end of the weekend. New rankings, I believe, will come out on Monday at scoreboard.com, and that sets up a huge match on Tuesday night. 5.30 is the kickoff time at Buford as Mill Creek will face the Wolves. Two teams that could be ranked in the top five, maybe even a little bit higher for the Hawks, depending on how the voting goes from coaches all over the state. Other scores around the state of Georgia on a very rainy evening. Some games have been delayed due to lightning. We haven't seen any lightning here at Mill Creek, and hopefully we won't see any. But updated scores, Riverwood, number six in 6A on the boys' side, defeated the Pope Greyhounds, who were ranked number 10 
That was 3-0 at home to Riverwood. We will see them next Friday as they host Lakeside DeKalb. 6A number two, Blessed Trinity leading in the second half in the boys' match, 3-1 against Walton, who's ranked number seven in 7A. Blessed Trinity's girls got the win over Walton, both also ranked in that one. Milton, 3-2 winners over West Forsyth on the girls' side. Kennesaw Mountain, 3-0 lead in the second half on the boys' side of things. Dalton, 2-0 win over Calhoun in girls' action earlier today. Big draw for Heritage of Ringgold, a smaller school going to face 7A Kennesaw Mountain. Big draw for Heritage Ringgold. Cambridge, 4-1 winners in girls' action over Alpharetta. Lincoln County, 7-1 win, their seventh win in a row. School record over Hepsiba. 1A Division II Lincoln County, ranked number two in the state. Let's kick it for 40 more minutes from Mill Creek. 4-1 lead for the Hawks over Central Gwinnett. It's Mill Creek looking for goal number five very early here in the second half. Black Knights trying to find their way out of their defensive third. Little bit of miscommunication. It's picked back up by the Hawks down the right side now. Trying to turn the corner. Doesn't have enough real estate to do it. Almost runs into the high jump pit, or the pole vault pit, actually. Going to be a goal kick. A minute into the second half, Mill Creek leading 4-1. Two goals from Max Mitchell in the first half. Mitchell pressing here for Mill Creek. Central Gwinnett swings it over to the right side. Luis Juarez. Driven up the right side by the Black Knights. Out of play. Throw in Central Gwinnett. Back in their own half. Thrown in up the line. Knocked forward by Santiago Aguirre. Aguirre plays as a senior here for the Hawks. On the honor roll at Mill Creek as well. Number of Mill Creek players on the honor roll. The academics as strong as the soccer. Central Gwinnett into the attacking half. Rolls over the touchline. So it's a throw for Mill Creek, but an opportunity for pressure here from the Black Knights if they so choose. Thrown in up the line over the head of Sagstwin. Central Gwinnett back in possession. Long clearance up the right side. Hawks head it forward. Flicked inside. Sagstun. The pass, though, and not finding its intended target through the middle. Throw central Gwinnett. Nice footwork to get past one. Played back inside by Angel Flores. Back to Castro. Swung over to the left. Navarro. Midfield. Turn. Tackled away throw Central Gwinnett. Black Knights would love to get something early here in the second half, make for an interesting final 40 minutes, final 37 and some change now. Mitchell lurking, nearly gets on the end of one for Mill Creek. Can't quite find the handle. Maybe he'll get another opportunity here shortly. It's Mill Creek up the right side, though. Pop back inside. Possession regained by Central Gwinnett, and now they attack up the left. Black Knights right off a challenge. Outside of the right football across, but it's easily caught by Connor Diaz. Love the inventiveness to try to slice that with the outside of the right foot into the run of the attacker. Didn't quite catch enough of it. Big punt from Diaz into the attacking half. Mitchell almost found the handle. Central Gwinnett able to scramble this out wide. So it's a throw for Mill Creek. 30 yards from goal. Aguirre will step up to take this. One of the captains for the Hawks throws it into the 18. Headed back out. Sagstuen gets a touch. Aguirre. Cross, blocked, throw, Mill Creek. 
Hawks looking for win number four in 2023. Would be their fourth at home as well. Thrown into the 18, left-footed cross, looking for Mitchell, cleared. Corner, Mill Creek. Mitchell, two goals on the night, six goals in 2023. Mill Creek trying to find him one more time for the hat trick. In swinging corner from the near side. Driven top of the six, Mitchell, goal, 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 hat trick, Max Mitchell. Number seven, Max Mitchell. I didn't think it would be that simple to find him for the hat trick. Thought it might take a little more time as Mill Creek was trying to get him his third goal of the night. Nope, straight off the corner. Perfectly placed to the back post, and Mitchell heads it home inside the six-yard box. 5-1 Mill Creek. Central Gwinnett kicks off, drops it back to the back line. Pass given away. Hawks trying to advance forward once again. But it's the Black Knights who find the handle. Flores starts things. Now down the left. Cover there by Mill Creek. They throw, play it out for a throw. But good defensive cover from this back line. Basic and Haynes have both been very, very good tonight for Mill Creek. They'll earn a throw. Not enough room to advance down the left side for the Black Knights. On for Mill Creek, Josh Mendoza. Josh Mendoza checking in for Mill Creek. Mitchell, seven goals now on the season. He might not be done. He's still in the match at midfield. Cross from the Black Knights, headed away by Basic. Nice turn in the midfield by Flores. Central Gwinnett in the attacking half, combining up the left side. Nice interplay by the Black Knights, but the pass comes up a little short trying to switch it across. Looking for Majuba. Can't find him. Mill Creek can't keep possession, though. Ba will take a throw at midfield. Thrown it up the line. It's back to Ba. He knocks it off of a Mill Creek player. Throw for Central Gwinnett. Off of the shin of Trainer. Flores cutting across. He can't keep possession for Central Gwinnett. They regain it in the center circle. It's knocked forward, almost finds Mitchell. Feels like every time Max Mitchell touches the ball, you start to think a goal could be scored. 33 minutes and some change. Long cross to the back post for Central Gwinnett. Controlled down. Defended 1v1. Knocked away. Corner. Black Knights. Just not enough time as defenders converged. Great ball to the back post. But couldn't get the ball out from under the feet to get the shot off. Leave it with Santibanez on the back side of the play. Corner central Gwinnett. In swinger with the left foot. Short option is there if they want it. They don't. Near post, headed away. Run down by the Black Knights. Flores, long shot over the bar. Goal kick, Mill Creek. Other scores in 7A on the girls' side. Norcross gets a win in their first region match. State-ranked team. They beat Discovery this evening. Subs for Mill Creek. Logan Irvin, one of them into the match. Mitchell is out. Mill Creek will be at 
Buford on Tuesday. Ba slices a clearance out for Central Gwinnett. Throw Mill Creek. Next Friday, the Hawks will be back here at home hosting Decula. Central Gwinnett. Next Friday, they're at Buford, but Tuesday, they will host this at the castle. Number one in 7A, Collins Hill, paying them a visit. See if the Black Knights have a few of the players who were not able to play tonight if they'll be back on Tuesday to face Collins Hill. Long ball over the top from the Black Knights, two chasing it, but Mill Creek's got it covered. They can see to throw. But good defending in general from Basic. Central Gwinnett in the attacking third. Drop back, but offside on the initial ball played forward. Free kick, Mill Creek. 30 minutes and some change left in this one. It's Mill Creek 5-1 over Central Gwinnett. Max Mitchell with three of those for the Hawks. Long ball, controlled down by Ba. Cleared into the attacking half, but Mill Creek back into their attacking half. A little bit of tennis over the midfield stripe. Throw in Mill Creek. Aguirre walking this one up the line. Being told he's got to bring that back. Walked up the line just a little too much. Actually, a lot too much. <laughs> the AR points all the way back about 15 yards. Hey, you got to try it, right? Aguirre up the line. Loose touch from Alsueti. Throw central Gwinnett. They'll do it again. Ba will try it once again at midfield. Ba throws it inside. Not quite on the same page. Nearly picked off. Foul prevented the break for the Hawks. Logan Irvin read that one like a book. He's tripped up, so it's a foul. Free kick, Mill Creek. This is inside of Basic's range if he wants it. It's seven yards inside the attacking half. He scored from 60 yards out in the first half. Took one bounce. This one not on goal. It's headed away. Central Gwinnett trying to run it down on the far side. They can see to throw. Luis Castro with the initial play on the free on the kick. Three, number 23, Nolan Jacoby. Nolan Jacoby checking into the match for the Hawks. Junior midfielder. One of the many Hawks on the honor roll. Throw in into the side goal netting. So this ahead. will be a goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Driven up the left side. Walking the tight rope. Black Knights keep possession. They work it back to Castro. Ba now on the right side. Great turn from Ba. Pass just behind the intended target. Throw Mill Creek. Aguirre throws in quickly. Jacoby knocks it across. Headed down. Long range shot. Sarmiento able to push it wide. Nolan Jacoby from way downtown, over 30 yards out, almost caught the freshman goalkeeper, Sarmiento. Nice save from him, corner on the far side from Mill Creek. In swinging corner. Back post. 
too much on that one. That's going to go out for a throw right up against the corner flag. Ba will have to try to get this one as far up the line as he can. He gets another throw, now 20 yards away from his own goal. That's a win. That throw up against the corner flag, that can be precarious. Mill Creek heads this one forward. Ba finds the second ball. But he can't keep that one in as he tries to dribble forward. Nice pressure from Al Suwedi. And with 26 minutes on the clock, it's a throw for Mill Creek. Thrown inside, 30 yards from goal. Central Gwinnett swarming the ball. They knock it backwards, but Mill Creek able to work it up the right side. Pulled back, nothing there. Central Gwinnett clears. Cross is knocked down, put back into the 18. Castro gets a touch. It's cleared. Central Gwinnett trying to get out of their own defensive third. They skip the lines this time to midfield. Foul, free kick, Central Gwinnett. Free kick for Central Gwinnett. Trying to play their way out of the back. There just wasn't any room to do it. They earn a free kick at midfield. Mill Creek back in possession in their own half quickly. A Aguirre, loose touch from him. Throw, 10 yards inside the attacking half. Central Gwinnett trying to turn. Jaramillo not able to do that. And it's Mill Creek, midfield, knocked forward. Al Suwedi chasing, Ba clears, throw Hawks. We're back into the disjointed portion of the match. Lots of subs, and that's understandable. And again, the conditions are playing a role in this one. Ba down after that clearance. Clock will stop at 24-29. Believe it's a cramp. Looked like he was trying to stretch the right leg out. I don't think he's going to be able to continue. Mill Creek leading 5-1. Max Mitchell with three goals. Seven now in 2023 for Mitchell. Ba helped off the field. Substitution incoming for Central Gwinnett. Make sure you check out Soccer is in session Wednesday nights, 7 p.m., wherever you get your Soccer Down Here podcast. You can listen on the website, SoccerDownHere.net, the Soccer Down Here app, which is a free download in your app store, or anywhere that you get your SDH podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, you can subscribe to Soccer Down Here. On Soccer is in session, presented by Kaiser Permanente. We always get caught up on the state rankings, scores from all over the state, commitments, news, college updates, and more. Soccer is in session, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on the SDH Network. Back in play here, Mill Creek chasing this one down in the attacking third. Clearance is deflected up into the air. Battle for possession, foul by Mill Creek, throw or free kick central Gwinnett. Free kick. Switched over to the left in space. Black Knights with an opportunity here. Heavy touch, one back by the Hawks. Al Suwedi knocks it forward. Central Gwinnett goes long down the left side. They haven't been able to really get their pressing game going. Long diagonal, too long. Goal kick, Mill Creek. It's a central Gwinnett team tonight that is not fully whole. They're missing a number of players who are unable to play tonight. Will Lovern, the assistant coach, one of the coaches with Mike McLean, Will was telling me this is a team that likes to play 4-2-2-2. Think New York Red Bulls. Think pressing. Think direct play. Haven't really gotten a chance to see that. They've played with three center backs tonight. 
And it's been tough to get going for them. Mill Creek looking for another one. Great defensive play, preventing the opportunity. Sarmiento was coming out of his six-yard box. Corner, Mill Creek. Nice play by the substitute in for Ba. It's going to be a throw, actually. That was sliced out for a throw. Aguirre. Throws into the 18, flicked on, headed down. It's still there, shot wide and high. Goal kick. Goal kick. Central Gwinnett. Central Gwinnett will bring this back into play shortly. Off for Central Gwinnett, number 21, Mario Sanchez. Mario Sanchez back into the game for Central Gwinnett. That defensive play just a second ago from Steven Rubio. Nicely done by Rubio to deny the opportunity, but Mill Creek still wants more. Still hungry for goals, the Hawks. Almost calls a turnover inside the 18. Central Gwinnett finds the escape route down the left. Played inside. Black Knights into the attacking half. They don't have numbers, though. Slip. Defender able to knock it forward. There's the pressure from the Black Knights. They force the turnover in the middle third. Quick turn, free kick. Free kick to Central Gwinnett. Black Knights free kick, 30 yards from goal. It's a great turn from Santibanes. 21 minutes left. Central Gwinnett trailing by four. Get something here, things could look a little interesting in the, the final frames. 32 yards from goal. It's on the left hash if we were talking about the other football. But just to give you a sense of where this is on the SDH network. Approach driven into the base of the wall. Al Suwedi trying to dribble out for the Hawks. Taken away from him, but possession regained by Sagstuen. Hawks trying to get loose down the middle. Pass intercepted. Battle middle third. Hawks come away with it. Knock it back to Diaz. Diaz inside his own 18. Goalkeeper Connor Diaz for Mill Creek. Plays it up the right side. Finds a teammate. That's dropped back. Now the ball over the top. Looking for Sagstuen. He's trying to run this down. It's Al Suedi actually with great pace down that right side. Can't turn the Throw corner, though. Gwinnett. Throw central Gwinnett. Less than 20 in this one. 5-1 Mill Creek. Trying to get win number four on the year. Trying to go to four and two overall. Trying to get goal number six in this one right now. Sags doing with a shot quickly from 30 yards. Pulled Thank wide. About 25 yards, Sags doing. Tried to take it first time, just oh, no, yanked it team wide team of the post. McCready. Anthony McCready, senior, back into the match. One goal on the season. He'll replace Sags doing. Mill Creek in the attacking half. They pass back to try to create a little bit of space. But the Black Knights intercept the pass over the top. Possession regained. Into the 18. Cross. Deflected back out. Still there for Mill Creek, though. 30 yards from goal. Low shot. Takes a deflection. Follow-up opportunity over the bar. Al Sweaty causing problems for... Central Gwinnett. Al Suwedi coming up from the JVs. He had a hat trick for the JV team last night. Freshman, Ibrahim Al Suwedi. Central Gwinnett long down the left side. That's the direct play, but there's just too many Hawks there to defend. 
possession regained. This time it's tried to be switched to the right side, but Connor Diaz will be able to do what he wants with this one inside his 18. He doesn't pick it up. Still ball at his feet. Now he picks it up. 17 and a half left. Mill Creek, 5-1 leaders. Looks like Max Mitchell's been shut down for the night on three goals. Resting him for Tuesday's trip to Buford. Santiago Aguirre with the throw. Pops back out to Aguirre. He drives it into the air. Sarmiento catches. Gets out of his hands. Thought that might have gone over the end line. Referees disagree. Wet ball, wet gloves, wet conditions. Difficult for a freshman goalkeeper. Shot saved by Sarmiento. Big shot from 20 yards out. Sarmiento handled it well. Black Knights trying to get out down the left. Big tackle, no foul. Throw central, Gwinnett. Throwing up the line, Mill Creek wins it back. Central Gwinnett wins it back. Getting a little physical in the middle third now. Black Knights come away with it. They are in a throw. About 45 yards from goal. That one goes out for a Mill Creek throw. Another score update from Gwinnett County. North Gwinnett on the girls' side. 1-0 winners over Peachtree Ridge. The Blessed Trinity-Walton game has gone final as well. Titans get the win over the Raiders. Blessed Trinity with doing the double tonight. Girls win, boys win. Mill Creek trying to do the same. 5-1 lead here. 15 minutes in, some change left. Central Gwinnett trying to cut into that as they attack down the left. Hawks clear. Throw. Black Knights. Thrown in quickly, trying to turn inside and just nowhere to go. It's a really good defensive team, Mill Creek. The goal for Central Gwinnett, little fluky with the conditions and a long-range shot slash cross, kind of skipping in. But overall, defensively, this is a very well-organized Hawks side. They regain possession in the middle third once again. Looking for the ball over the top. Headed out. Mill Creek throw. Aguirre. Pass inside. Looking for the one-two. It doesn't find him on the second ball. Mario Sanchez. Can't connect with a teammate, but it deflected out. So throw central Gwinnett on the far side. Throw in, dropped back. Possession kept by central Gwinnett. But they're stuck in their own half. Good pressure from Mill Creek. And they regain possession in the middle third. Headed forward. Castro, long ball over the top. Opportunity here for the Black Knights. Three defenders there, though, and Mill Creek just takes care of business. They do have to play this out for a throw. It's taken quickly, too quickly, because the Black Knights have a substitution, and Mill Creek has a player down. Hawks are going to make a substitution. Black Knights are going to make a substitution. The Hawks substitution will be a goalkeeper. All of their goalkeepers have played this season. One senior, Jack Middlebrooks, two juniors. Connor Diaz got the start tonight. Lucas Meyer has played as well this season. 
On to Mill Creek, heading goal number 98, Jack. It's the senior, Middlebrooks, who's checking into the match now with 13.20 on the clock. Mill Creek making another substitution. Defender down. Jacob Sagstuen back into the match. Looks like he'll be sliding into the back line here. Trying to get an eye on who was down. I think it is Basic. He's got one goal on the night. Central Gwinnett shot blocked. Middlebrooks has to make a play. He does. Catch from Middlebrooks. The long shot that took a deflection popped straight up. Comfortable for Middlebrooks. That's the kind of first touch that you want as a goalkeeper. Hawks into the attacking half, but they just can't find anyone. Central Gwinnett trying to get out of their own half. So they swing it over to the right side. Rubio. His pass comes up short. Intercepted by Sagstuen. Tries to play a cross. It's cleared by Castro. Center circle. Miscommunication from the Hawks. Pass deflected. Clearance. Looking for Al Suedi. Freshman trying to chase this down. Nobody's got that much goal pace to chase it down, so it's a goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Goal kick driven down the middle. Header won by Mill Creek. Popped up into the middle. Just off the center circle. Both players trying to find a header for that. It's Mill Creek who comes away with it on the right side. Into the attacking third left-footed shot blocked. Follow-up opportunity. Kept 30 yards from goal. Pass takes a block. Al Sueti drops it. Long-range shot over the bar. Goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Goal kick for the Black Knights. 11 minutes and some change in this one. Mill Creek, 5-1 lead in the second half. Central Gwinnett trying to find their way out of their own half. Dwayne Berdiel. Their duo loses it out for a throw. Hawks throw, 20 yards from goal. Thrown into the 18. Trying to spin away from spirited defending. Corner. Don't think the rain is completely stopped. But it is as light as it, is, as it has been since I got here to... About 4.30. Props to the students and families who came out tonight at Mill Creek. Thanks to everybody who's watching on the Mill Creek Sports Network or listening on the Soccer Down Here Network. The corner goes over everyone. It's going to be a throw on the opposite side. Took a deflection, so it's a throw for the Hawks. Haynes will take the throw on the far side. Got some range, gets us into the 18, headed away. Castro heads it out. Sags two in long range shot. Sarmiento able to smother it. Jacob Sags two in, still looking for his first goal of the season, the sophomore. He's got two assists. Sarmiento denies it. Mill Creek back on the ball in the middle third. Al Sueti can't turn. It's Central Gwinnett who looks for the ball over the top. This one's going to run away from everyone, though. Throw in the defensive third for Mill Creek. Thrown in up the line. Good pressure from Berduo. A little bit too strong there, though. Free kick. Mill Creek.
Mill Creek traveling to Buford on Tuesday. Girls match will be between two top ranked teams in the state in 7A. Central Gwinnett clears this out for a throw on the far side for the Hawks. Throw in into the 18, trying to turn back to the left. Possession kept by the Hawks, left-footed shot. Takes the deflection. Corner for the Hawks. Corner Mill Creek. Swinging corner from the near side. Play to the back post over the head of Al Sweaty. Trying to get the freshman on the board. Less than eight minutes remaining. Central Gwinnett makes the sub. Michael Sarmiento Arias back into the match. Black Knights play back to Castro. Castro, long ball over the top, looking for Sarmiento Arias. Headed forward by the Hawks. Four goal lead for Mill Creek. They commit a foul inside their attacking half. It's going to be a free kick for Central Gwinnett. Game has kind of slowed down here in the last seven minutes and some change. Central Gwinnett want to speed things up, though. They'd love to get another one on the board. Dribbling through traffic on the left. They don't get the call. It's going to be a throw for the Black Knights instead of the free kick they were looking for. Maybe a little bit of disagreement here. Yes, it will be a throw, not a free kick. Working up the left side, Black Knights cutting inside. Long range shot saved by Middlebrooks. Six and a half on the clock. Good right foot on Middlebrooks, gets it into the attacking half on the punt. But Black Knights initially find the handle. It's knocked forward in the, the direction of Al Suedi. Finds the second ball. Battle for it. Hawks come away with it. Through ball. Heavy touch. Nowhere to go. Good defending from Central Gwinnett. They clear. Headed back into the attacking third. Hawks. Right footed shot over the bar. That was dipping. Goal kick for Central Gwinnett. Not quite enough spin on it to bring it under the crossbar. Goal kick, Central Gwinnett. Quite a few high school games on Saturday this week. There's a big showcase at Rome High School involving a number of teams on the boys and girls Goal side. Also some big games in the lower classifications on Saturday. Shambly's girls in a big match on Saturday hosting 6A number 7 Lakeside. Keep an eye on scoreboard.com and Max Preps and all your usual sites for those updates. We'll get you caught up on soccer is in session on Wednesday. Getting into the region schedules now. Mill Creek, one to watch for sure on the girls' side, and I think on this boys' side as well. This defense is going to keep them in a number of games, and Max Mitchell is an absolute handful up top for the Hawks. Four and a half minutes left. It's a throw for Central Gwinnett in the middle third. Thrown in by Berdul. He tries to find the second ball. They'll get another throw instead. Throw 
Swung over to the opposite side. Black Knights at midfield. Going to dribble through traffic this time. Just nowhere to go. Suffocating defense from Mill Creek. Sliding challenge. That one doesn't win. Second defender wins it. Collision on the far side. Both players up. Collision at midfield. Both players getting up. Free kick Mill Creek. Central Gwinnett hosting Collins Hill. Had a little bit of time off the Eagles. Perfect 7-0-0 record. Free kick driven into the 18, headed but wide. That's a great free kick. Played to the back post. Nicely timed run. Couldn't quite dial up that connection as Anthony McCready would have been one of the prettiest goals you would have seen. Central Gwinnett. Dribbling through the left side. Pass deflected. Here comes Mill Creek with less than three minutes left. McCready runs it down. McCready cutting back to his right foot. Corner of the 18. Tackled away from him. Good defending from the Black Knights. As they look down the right side now. Block it out for a throw. Throw into the hump. 7A boys, your top 10. Collins Hill leading it. They will be on the road at Central Gwinnett on Tuesday. South Forsyth ranked number two. They're also perfect 7-0-0. Lambert has not lost. They're three. Peachtree Ridge has not lost. They're four. Mountain View has not lost. They're five. Mill Creek back in possession in the attacking half. Two minutes on the clock. Swarming defense from the Black Knights. They regain possession. Burkmar in action tonight at Meadow Creek. I've not seen a score on that one. They suffered their first loss just recently. Free kick for the Hawks. Push in the back. Foul, free kick. Mill Creek, 35 yards from goal. Less than 90 seconds left. Have not seen a score on North Gwinnett's boys tonight. They're ranked number nine in the state, hosting number four, Peachtree Ridge. Huge match down the road. Played to the back post too much. One minute remaining. Looking for Logan Irvin on the back post. Collins Hill ranked number one in 7A. They are leading Andrew Cruz with a goal. They'll travel to the castle to face Central Gwinnett on Tuesday. Mill Creek. As the rain picks back up and the seconds tick away, they'll be at Buford on Tuesday. 10-0 win for the Hawks girls this afternoon slash evening, and it looks like it's going to be a 5-1 win for the boys. Perfect 4-0 record here at home for Mill Creek, and they take the win over Central Gwinnett. Thanks so much to everybody here at Mill Creek for hosting the SDH Game of the Week. Hawks win. They do the double. The girls 10-0, boys 5-1. Central Gwinnett will prepare to face Collins Hill on Tuesday on both boys and girls. Mill Creek will face Buford. Girls game between two of the top-ranked teams, and watch this Mill Creek boys team. They're going to climb up the state rankings if they continue to play like this. Thanks to the Mill Creek Sports Network for having me. Thanks to everybody for listening on Soccer Down Here. Thank you to Kaiser Permanente for sponsoring our coverage of soccer all over the state of Georgia. This is Jason Longshore signing off. We'll see you on Tuesday from Sequoia.